Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I want to talk about how you can insert special characters into your HTML documents using Vim. Now, this also applies, a lot of this stuff applies to evil mode in Emacs. So if you use evil mode in Emacs, this might be helpful for you as well. Okay, so first off, let's uh, do a vertical split here and let's create a file called specialcar.html. And all right, so in that, what I'm going to do is I first want to go to insert mode and declare my doc type, which is uh, HTML, HTML5 document. And then I'm going to create an HTML tag and a head tag. And I want to include in the head tag my meta character set equal to UTF8. And this is going to allow me to have a lot of those special characters show up properly in my HTML document. Okay, now I'm going to create my body and then I'm going to go down a few places, close my body and close my HTML tag. Okay, so I've got my file created. So there's a couple ways we can insert characters in Vim. First, let's, let's uh, create a paragraph and then within the career paragraph, let's create a span and let's close out the span and we'll include our special characters in that. And I'm just gonna go back into the head and just add some style here. Here, I know that's not the best strategy, but uh, just for the span, I just wanna make the font size uh, four run. If I can type. And then we'll close out the style tag. Okay, so now when I put my character in between here, I should have a font size of four rem, so it's nice and large. So when I refresh this, you can see it. So I'm going to go to insert mode here. And the first way, when we're in insert mode, we can use control V and we can get decimal codes. Um, so we could do something like, let's say X, and then I could do control V and then type 178. And that gives me a superscript two, for instance. Okay, um, there's a lot of different codes that you can do. Uh, so I would say equals nine here. Let me just uh, duplicate this line and get rid of the stuff in between here. Uh, and so now what we could do is we could look up some of these characters. And the way we do that is we uh, go to normal mode and then type our colon to type a command, do H and then digraph dash table. Okay, and that's gonna give us this digraph table above here. And you'll see we have the decimal code and the digraph code. We'll get to the digraph code in a minute, but let's go down and just take a look at this decimal code and find a cool symbol that we want. Um, keep going down. Okay, so maybe we wanna do the yen sign, okay? So if I want to do the yen sign, I'm going to get back here by doing control W J get down here. And what I'm going to do is go to insert mode, do control V and then the code for the yen is 165. And that's going to give me the yen symbol. Now, if I escape and write this file, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up uh, this file in the browser. So let me just go to my Linux files here. And I'll go to specialcharacter.html and open it up. And you can see, because I made the font size large, we have x squared equals nine and then the yen sign, okay? Um, all right, so let's go back up to this window. So let me escape out of here, do control W, K to get back up here. And we can go down, we can keep looking at some of these uh, signs. So let's find something that's interesting. Um, Oh, the beta, beta sign, that's that's a good one. So that's 223. Okay, so I'm gonna do control W, J. I'll um, yank this and paste it. And then I'll just uh, delete the inner tag here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to insert mode, do control V and then type 223 and I get my beta sign. Okay, so that's inserting with the decimal code. And I believe I wrote uh, something about ASCII. Here, let me pull this up here. Let's see if I can pull it up. 
pull this up so you can see a little bit better. I wrote something about ASCII. It's more decimal code because if you look at an ASCII table, what I've noticed is sometimes they don't match up on the higher numbers. So you want to use this digraph table. Next thing we're going to talk about, and let me do uh, yank this and paste some more. Next thing we're going to talk about, and I'm going to, let's see, delete inner tag, dot command there. And um, next thing we're going to talk about is digraphs. Okay, so digraphs, you actually insert two values and it gives you something. And we have our digraph code above. So if I go above, I do control W K to get up here. Uh, if I go GG and go to the top, scroll down just a little bit to uh, maybe I went too far. Um, let's do a search for a digraph table. There we go. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> if I go to this digraph table, you'll see that we have the decimal code, the hexadecimal code, and then the digraph code. Okay. So one thing that's cool about digraphs, let's go back down here, do control WJ, is I can do a lot of common fractions. Okay. So what I could do is I could do go to insert mode. Instead of control V, I do to get a digraph, I do control K. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is uh, one, two, and that's going to give me one half. Okay. So that's one of them. Um, I can go back to insert mode, control K to insert a digraph three, four, three fourths. Okay. Uh, I can go back to insert mode, insert mode, control K and do, um, I think one six works. So one six. Yep. One six works. Okay. So now if I save this and this might be a little bit small, but let's refresh here. We see, we get, you know, the beta symbol, we get one half, we get three fourths, we get one six. Another thing we can do, and I'm kind of jumping around here. Let me do yank, yank, paste. Uh, I didn't sleep that well last night. So sorry if this is a little out of order. Uh, I'm going to delete those two. Another thing we can do is smiley faces. Okay. So with that, I can go back and do a control V. So I go to insert mode, do control V, and then I want to do uh, U. Okay. Because this is longer than three digits. So these you have to look up online. So U and then one F 600. Uh, no, sorry. Insert mode, control V capital U. 1F600, enter, and I get a smiley face. Okay, so that's a capital U. And let me go control WL, go over to this window here, and let's just make that larger and bring it over here. And if you see down here, um, if I type a U, that gives me, actually, yeah, just resize this. So if I type a, a capital U, I'm able to have uh, a value of up to eight number of characters. If I only type the U, it's only four characters. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think of a good one that's four characters. Let's let's go here. And uh, four character one, let's do the upside down question mark decimal value. So in Spanish, you have an upside down question mark. So upside down question mark uh, decimal value. Let's just take a look at that. And okay, so I think it's 00BF. Let's try that. Okay, so I, again, this is showing you, you can look a lot up online. So I'm going to do Control I and then Control U and then, or Control V rather, and then a lowercase u and then 00BF. And it gives me the upside down question mark. And let me save all this. Oops, let me save all this. And then I'll show you this when we refresh the page over here. So we refresh the page. We've got the smiley face and then the upside down question mark there. Okay, so um, you get a lot of the digraphs up here. You can just do, again, that command is H, a space, and then digraph table. And you can also do, uh, for help, you can do also H, I, I believe it's underscore control, V uh, and then digit. Yeah, and see, I'm doing tab to have it autocomplete here. But if I do that, 
then I can go through the documentation here. And that's where you notice I copied this table here onto the markdown document that I'll provide a PDF in the link to the description about this as well. But this is in Vim's built-in documentation. So you can definitely take a look and read up on that. You can insert a lot of cool characters, a lot of math characters in here, um, which I always like. You can insert the division symbol, um, which is great. You can insert Spanish characters, like for a question mark in Spanish, you usually start with the upside down question mark. Then you have the question and then the, the regular question mark. That's how you write it in Spanish. That's what I remember anyways from my high school Spanish. Uh, but th there's a, a wide range of possibilities you can uh, of characters you can insert in Vim. Now, I believe most of this stuff also works in evil mode and Emacs. Uh, but sometimes in Emacs, the one thing I did notice is it doesn't always render necessarily that well on the GUI at least version of it, and it renders fine when you save the file, but um, so that's one thing to be aware of. Anyways, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.